you can evict me? You owe for three months, Cooperman. So consider yourself served. Cooperman's a movie about a man paralyzed by fear, uh, fear of just about everything in his life. Griffin Cooperman is just getting by. He's just doing the least that he can do to sort of survive in the world. And then he's confronted with problems that force him outside of his comfort zone and force him to confront his fears and push through them. Mrs. Harris is Griffin's landlady and friend and confidant. She's an awful woman, a good heart, but she's an awful, awful woman. Shooting my first feature in Charlottetown was wonderful because we had so much community support. Like people, the town, the city itself was supportive of us just kind of like being on the street and shooting and businesses were uh, excited to offer their space and be a part of it. The Telefilm Microbudget program was paramount in getting Cooperman made here for us. The program is specifically geared to emerging filmmakers and uh, for Harmony and I, we've, we've both done several shorts and we've been dreaming and hoping to be able to do a feature for a while. And when this program came along, we knew we just had to run at it. The Island Media Arts Co-op uh, was the reason why I made short films. I wouldn't have thought to do it, but because they existed, I went and made shorts, and then, you know, from that, you can stretch your wings to feature. Working with Harmony was a really awesome experience. I sat back in awe at times to see how she'd come in and handle the situation. It's important to support emerging talent in Canada so we can keep them in Canada. You know, and we feel the same way here in Prince Edward Island. It's kind of like a little microcosm of that metaphor, but there are a lot of great filmmakers here on PEI. We need to show everyone that Canada is just like the best place in the world to do anything. And we're the best people to do it. And if we don't support the emerging talent, then we won't have the huge stars and celebrities that we, we love to claim. You know, everyone loves to look at someone and go, he's Canadian. Well, he has to start someplace, and there's a point in time when we need to help those people. We need people to do what they're passionate about. We need people to show the entire world what Canada is really about, and that's what happens when we allow artists to create.